Thanks, Molly. I'm going to do a colander pour, but I'm going to do it with fluorescence um, neon colors this time. So I don't have any more circular canvases, so I'll just have to do it here. My center is probably going to get stretched out, but that's okay. I layered my paints using uh, a modified paint split, basically. I um, didn't use the partition but I layered the paints in so I didn't just do one layer over one layer. Okay, my white in the center is not really that white. It mixed with the purple. But that's okay because you really won't see the center that much. I don't know if all my colors are gonna muddy, if the black's gonna take over, um, but we'll just see. Paint a second to run out, and off she goes. So that's a pretty cool center. I'll zoom you guys in. The black definitely took over, but we'll see what happens when I stretch it out a little bit. Make sure you're in camera. And then I'll see what it looks like under a black light. I've got some bubbles here, so. Let me go ahead and pop those real quick. Oh, I had a lot of bubbles. Man, I don't know if I'll be able to keep that center. Um, we'll see. Circling it around, because these lines all go out like this, so circling it around actually, I don't like the effect that that gives. So I try to bring it back to the center and then go out side to side. And I might just circle that black around there because I don't necessarily want to stretch it out too far. So after it's done, I might just layer the black on around it. Oh, I want to go back to the center a little bit. side Flip it around so I can get it better I don't know what that blob is right there I went too far over this side already let me bring this back looks like my center is going to be off centered for this painting It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm really just trying to get the effect. All right, let me spin this around. I don't like that. I don't know what happened there. That is a blob. Fix it now. I'd rather muddy my colors. And... So my green is basically lost, but this pink and purple, I might do one with just pink and purple. Man, that pink and purple is really pretty. Okay, so let me get my paint. I wonder if any of the green will show up in the black light. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can stretch any of these out to the top. So, find out where my paint center is. Ooh, wow. On a round canvas, this would have been amazing. Yep. I don't really want to mess with it too much more. I've got some crazy lacing that's going on in there too, so. Um, I don't know, guys. Don't yell at me. 
because I think I'm going to try to move it a little bit more. Oh, come back, cool flowers or bugs or whatever you are. Back to the center. Okay, I'm not going to mess with it anymore because I'm going to lose all the effects. So I think what I'll do for this corner over here is just, I always have my handy balloon made up. I'll just stretch it over to the corner. Stretch this one off the corner. Okay. Let me a little bit lopsided here. Let me see if I can go any over this way. Really don't want to stretch that out anymore. I'm gonna let the paint do what the paint wants to do. All right, let me take you down and I'll show you what I got. I mean to get you out of the light, but here are the effects. Super cool. So that is what she looks like. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like under a black light. I might do this again with just yellow. I mean, yellow, just pink and purple, black and white. All right, thank you guys, bye. So the camera is not doing this justice. There's just a little bit of green right there Look at those cool lines. A little bit of green right there. But that pink, man. That pink really shows up for that fluorescence. But anywho, so there's a little fluorescent neon colander pour still loving the effects that you get and it looks nice without the black light on too so all right thank you guys happy painting bye